We've seen one way to change the magnetic flux through a wire loop, which is to change the magnetic field through it. But there is another way. Let's imagine we had a constant magnetic field, one that isn't changing and uniform. But now let's imagine we have our wire loop, and we change the shape of the wire loop, say, by stretching it. We could stretch it out long and thin, or we could scrunch it up. In both these cases, the total length of wire is the same, but the area goes down. So as magnetic flux is magnetic field times area, the flux has gone down. Therefore, while we're in the act of scrunching it up or squashing it down, there is a change in magnetic flux, and therefore somehow moving the wire is generating a voltage, an electromotive force. This turns out to be absolutely crucial. Let's try and work out an equation for this. If we are moving a wire in some direction, what's going to be the voltage, the electromotive force across the wire? Well, let's set this up by imagining uh, something like a tuning fork. Let's say we have a piece of wire that looks something like this. And we have a moving bar that rests on top of it, sliding to the side at some velocity v. And let's further imagine we have a magnetic field going into the screen of some strength b. Now in this case, we have our wire loop, which is this loop here, and it's increasing in size as this slidey bit of purple wire moves to the right. Therefore, the magnetic flux through the loop is getting larger. Therefore, there must be a voltage. What is it? Well, what is the rate of change of flux? So we want to find the rate of change of flux with respect to time. Now, if we take some interval of time delta t, the new flux will be the flux in the region swept out. So let's say the wire starts off here and moves to there. So that distance is v delta t. That's how far it moves in time delta t. So the extra flux is going to be the area, v delta t, times the length. So the area is length times width. Let's call that L, times the magnetic field. So that's the change in flux divided by the change in time. It gives you d flux by d time, which is just v l b. OK? And that has got to be equal to the integral all the way around the loop of the electric field dot dl, which is the voltage, the electromotive force, EMF. So what we found is when we move a rod at of length l at speed v, we get an electromotive force equal to its velocity times its length times the magnetic field it's moving through. And that turns out to be a fundamental law of physics used in generators, for example, when you rotate wire loops or spin them around, you get this voltage produced. How do we know it's this length L that's producing it? Well, the rest of the wire around here is not changing. It's this bit that's changing, that's a bit moving, so the voltage is across here.